In 2021, cheap headphones are getting good and good headphones are getting cheap. And today I wanna to talk to you about a cheap pair of headphones that's surprisingly good from a brand that you guys know that I love. Basius. In full disclosure, Basius sent these out to me for review and they are gonna to get to preview my thoughts before I put them out there. This isn't a paid review. I just wanna be transparent with you guys. These headphones reminded me why no one should buy the Redmi AirDots in 2021. And I'm being completely serious about this. This is a budget pair of headphones that has good sound, has some good features, and has an app that said, you don't need the app to get the most out of these headphones, unlike the Redmi AirDots. Let's cover some of the brief specs of the NCOC W11 real quick. Have my Redmi Note 10 Pro running Android 12 on it, and I'll link to that video up here. But these have a 12 millimeter dynamic driver. They're IPX8 water resistant, four hours of battery life at 70%. So maybe a little more, because these headphones get super loud. With the case that does charge via USB-C and MagSafe, you're gonna get up to three and a half more recharges. The case also does feature a pair and pause reset button for these headphones, and it allows you to enter a gaming mode, which again, at the given price point for these, and I'll have a link with the exact price point and a coupon that you guys can use if you're in America and wanna buy these off Amazon in the description. But the most shocking thing about these headphones is the design. And let's talk about the design of these headphones really quick. They feature a mixture of matte and glossy plastic and the control surface of them is a flat matte plastic area. The case themselves has a mixture of glossy and matte plastic. It's got a really small, nice pill oval shape. There's one status LED in the front that basically tells you when you need to recharge them. It doesn't tell you how much battery life you have left, but again, this is a budget pair of headphones. And check out this shape. Now, this is, and I'll get a close up for you guys. This is the coolest, most interesting shape that I've tried on a pair of headphones. It's not all good in regards to design though. These headphones, because of how they sit in your ear, they always feel almost like they're about to fall out. But because of their full silicone sleeve that kind of goes in your ear, I never had any issues with them falling out. It is really important that you get the right size ear tip with these and they give you four different sizes of them. And it has a nice oval shape, which you guys know that I like in my earbuds now. I find that it's a little bit more ergonomic that said, these headphones might not ergonomically fit you. Although, in, like for me, they were fine. For my wife, they were fine. So I think for most people, these are gonna be fine. Just know that it's not your kind of generic shaped earbuds, which in my opinion is a bonus because it gives them a larger area and more area to go ahead and give you more bass because these things pump in so much bass, like bass head alert. If you want a pair of headphones to listen to electronic music, hip hop music, basically anything that's not rock and roll or classical music, these headphones are so good. Like gym headphones, these things might be perfect because they are going to give you that thump, that thick, damn boy, he's thick, boy, that's a thick ass boy thump that you want with a lot of modern music. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. If I want a flat pair of headphones, I have my studio monitors back there from One Audio. Uh, but by and large, I, I usually like a more fun sounding pair of headphones. The mids and highs of these, highs are not painfully shrill, but they are quite bright. Mids are a little bit kind of pulled back. But like I said, for most popular music, you guys are really gonna like the sound quality of them. I wanna go ahead and give you guys a quick mic test because that's something that I think with these headphones is just kind of average. So this is a mic test of the Basius NCOC W11. Right now, this is a really quiet time of day here in Hanoi, not much traffic. We're gonna take you out to a busier road so you can see how these headphones do when it comes to isolating my voice
from outside noise. Now, as you guys can hear, it's a little bit busier. There's more cars, there's more noise. Sound quality of these, or my quality of these, definitely does dip. But given their price point, which is like right around 30 bucks with my coupon, I think that these headphones do a surprisingly good job of reducing background noise without giving my voice that overly compressed digitalized sound. But you guys need to be the judge and let me know in the comment section. Because these headphones don't feature a Qualcomm chipset, you don't get the CVC 8.0, you get their own proprietary noise canceling technology. You guys know how I feel with this. If you need a pair of headphones that has a great microphone, either get the Elevat Clear, which are like double the price, or you're just gonna be stuck with a pair of headphones that have a longer stem to extend that microphone closer to your mouth. That's just the reality of the way headphones work. Even when I tried some of the Samsung Galaxy Buds, the microphone was just kind of average simply because it wasn't a directional microphone. But again, these are a budget pair of headphones. Now, in regards to gaming mode, let's go ahead and give you guys a gaming mode demonstration right now. Now these advertise with gaming mode a 60 millisecond response time. If you guys want me to do a headphone gaming mode test versus aptx adaptive versus aptx regular, let me know in the comment section down below. Some people mentioned that, but I haven't published a video on that yet. But I think that the price point that these headphones come in at, AAC, SBC, three and a half to four hours, depending upon your volume, 15 hours with the case, Qi wireless charging, as well as MagSafe for all you Apple people out there. A cool and interesting design, tons of bass. This is, headphones like this are the reason that no one should buy the Redmi AirDots. It's just that simple. Not when we have headphones that sound this good, that have interesting features, that have good playback controls other than volume control, and that have an app that's like built in and works. And it's weird because Xiaomi owns Basius, Halu, and QCY, or they own parts of those companies, yet all of those companies make way better headphones than Xiaomi Redmi. I don't understand. Let me know why you think that is. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.